We had another tricky situation here. From the angle you're at, you're on top of the jump. Immediately following is this valley or ravine that you see Jeff at the very bottom of. If I approach that jump you're on at the speed that I normally do, I would fly clean to the bottom, right where Jeff is, maybe a very hard landing, and then have difficulty with that sharp left-hander rise at the end. What I want to show you how I do here is come up in a good way to brush off speed on the jump where you're at. And then I'll land very short on this and have a smooth approach for that jump and be back on the gas. So let me give you a demonstration right now. Here I do it the wrong way. I land too far off this jump and it causes me to land hard. Then I have difficulty going through the turn afterwards. This way I brush off a little bit of speed. How you brush off speed is when you're approaching the jump, you actually turn your bike just before it leaves the ground. That gets your bike back on the ground, and by getting it back on the ground faster, it definitely helps me set up for the following turn. So remember, turn your bike just before it leaves the ground, brush off your speed, get back on the ground, so it gets you more time to set up for that next turn.